Today, I want to share three things with you that are going to be changing in 2020 with digital marketing that you need to keep your mind on, you need to be aware of, and you need to implement into your business right away. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, how's it going? My name is Adrian Boysell. This is the Adrian Graphics and Marketing Channel. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I wanna to share three important things that are changing in digital marketing in 2020 that you need to know about that are gonna help you grow your business and help you kind of reach the next level and dominate your competition. If you're not doing this, then you need to apply these right away. All right, so number one is voice. Voice is becoming huge with all these smart devices. You gotta have your Alexas, you gotta have your uh, Google Homes, all of the Google Echoes, all these smart devices are all voice activated, including your phones now. So when you th say things like, okay Google, you need to be able to show up on the search results. And this is really gonna change the game for businesses. If you don't show up and if you're not one of those results, you're really gonna suffer for that. So what you need to do in order for to come up on voice is you need to implement schema markup into your website, what they also call structured data. That structured data is gonna help Google, Alexa, all of these devices know that you are there and it's gonna be able to see the information and deliver the best result to the customer. That's the whole goal of schema markup and doing it the right way and structuring your data so that you can be that result that comes up when people are searching you, okay? Now, number two is going to be AI. AI is a powerful tool. Artificial intelligence is a really great way to help build relationships and build your brand with customers. There are tools like ManyChat where you can install a chat bot or onto your Facebook page so that when people chat with you, they're actually chatting with your bot that has your personality, your tone of voice, your type of response, so you're not having to do all of that stuff on your own. It'll really, really help you to use AI. And there's other AI marketing tools like pay-per-click management tools that you can download. You can just look these things up online that will actually manage your pay-per-click advertising campaigns and optimize them and get the most money for, get the most out of your money for you with these pay-per-click advertising campaigns to show you what's working and what's not using computer algorithms. It's a really, really great way to optimize your ad spend and increase your leads, okay? And then number three is Google Maps and Google My Business. Listing yourself on Google My Business and ranking your Google My Business listings is super important. And there are really four main areas that you're gonna focus on in order to do that. It's gonna be uploading content to your Google My Business page. What I mean by content is uploading photos, uploading videos, uploading offers, uploading coupons, things like that. Those are all things that you need to be adding to your business and they need to be geotagged. Well, what geotag means is they need to be linked to the specific location where you're at, your business location, your area. So if you're taking photos, make sure you have your location on. Or if you're having your clients take photos of the work that you're doing, make sure they have their location stuff turned on on their phone or whatever device they're on. And then that information is uploaded directly into Google, okay? That's the first one. Number two is getting reviews. You need to be actively getting reviews from your clients and finding a way a review system like Pulse M is a really great way to do that, is to get reviews for your business, get those from your clients, whether it's on Google or Yelp. The more reviews you get, the more that Google's gonna shoot you up on the algorithm in the maps, and you can start showing up in those top three. That's a really big one. Then also, you're gonna add all of the details that you possibly can into your Google My Business listing. You need to make sure that you have your services listed in there, with the actual cities that you're in, and get specific in those, and max out on the amount of characters that you can put in there. I think it's about 500 characters per service that you can list, and that's a great way to optimize your page, to add those services in, and to be able to rank in your area for those things. And then the last one is just keeping up with using it like a social media platform with Google My Business. You can actually post to it every single day. You can post a new photo, you can post a new customer, you can post a case study. There's all kinds of things that you can post on there. So frequently posting to Google My Business through the app or through the computer is gonna help you rank in Google Maps. And those are three big areas. Let me actually write that down for you here. GMBs, Google My Business, then you have voice, which was number one. You have AI, which is number two, and actually setting up a chat bot and then Google My Business. Those are the three things that you need to know if you're gonna help, if you wanna dominate in 2020. So I hope that helps you guys out. Just continuing to provide value guys to you guys. I'm making videos every single Monday, every single Wednesday, and every single Friday. So if you wanna get updated, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash that little bell so you get all of the updates, and uh, hit a like, give a thumbs up on the video if this is able to help you out. So I love you guys, hope you have a blessed day, and as always, keep looking up. <laughs>